Let's talk Javon Kinlaw. Javon Kinlaw's looking good. I think everyone's seen what he looks like. He's a physical specimen for sure. But more importantly, he's on the field. Today, every snap with the first stringers. Every day, it's more and more he's playing. He was in one-on-ones yesterday. He had a sack today at 11-on-11s. Um, I think it's pretty clear that if he can perfect his technique the way that Armstead has and just get lower pad level consistently and use his hands, he can do pretty much all the things that Armstead has done in the NFL, which is, you know, make a lot of money, be very successful. So it seems like he's trending in the right direction. I think that's good news for this team. He, he actually was a productive pass rusher in college when, because it, because he played, he played. Now he might be able to do it in a different way because he was, he could, he could out physical, he could use his, his physical abilities, uh, uh, more so on lower level competition. This is all, and he played in SEC, so top level college competition. But it's NFL is different. Um, but I think you've hit on it, like him actually get it, being able to practice, being able to play. Like, yeah, that all adds up. Like the Niners talk about stacking days. Like you can't stack days if you're not healthy enough to play. And if he's healthy right. enough to play, he's going to stack the, those days. He's going to he's going to learn more, and then. You're gonna, and you'll see the you'll see the production. He's gonna learn. He's gonna learn what what works for him and what doesn't. Right? Different players, especially on the D line, have a uh, they're they have a different comfort level with different pass rush moves. He's gonna figure out what, what works for him, what doesn't, and that's all gonna happen in practice and then in games. Yeah, I, I don't think he came into the league with like a real refined pass rushing skill set. I think he's le- learning what the Niners are teaching him, and he's clearly gifted enough to do it. He just needs time on task, right? Which is being in practice every day and his knee, what didn't allow him to. And I was wondering like, will the Niners have to, um, what's the word manage him. So, so carefully that he won't get the opportunity to consistently improve in practice. Seems like they feel like they don't have to anymore that he's actually here every day and he's not having setbacks and he's improving. It's funny how that works. Great news. Great news. Great news. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm glad if that if that knee was the issue and they finally cleared it up and they got that taken care of. It's great news for him. Great news. Yeah, for him. I'm hoping that his career is a major success. He has some really good games this year, and I can bring him on the show, and he can rub it in my face that he was right and I was wrong. I'm really hoping that happened. That would be a lot of fun. We'll see. Javon, keep it up. You're doing great. He came over to me in practice today. He did. He did. He's done it a couple of times. He's funny because he, I take a lot of notes. He was like, did you get that? Did you write everything down? Did you get that? And I really, I went over to him like, look, did I, 99 sack. Because he did have a sack and he smiled. So Thank he's in a good mood, man. He's playing yeah. well. I'd be in a good mood too. I'd be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> playing well. yeah. Did, did he put, did he put someone on his back? Put someone Thanks. On his, yeah. 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 That usually makes a defensive lineman in a good mood. Absolutely. Regardless, even and, and you and you get a sack on top of it. Oh well, yeah, that's, that's going to put you in a really good mood. Yep. So sweet yeah. to Ron Law. Absolutely. There's a lot of people on this team with a, under a lot of pressure in their career. None more than him. So this, good to see a guy come through in the clutch. 24 years old. It's dope. He he also he, he lost some fat, didn't he? From for I know he like. like he, it. He's, yeah, I mean, he's like a 320 pound D tackle who's like dressed up like um, Bosa. You know, he's got like the midriff showing. He's got the six pack. He really does have a six pack. Like, he's one of yeah, he, he's one of those dudes that that's 320, but he doesn't look like he's like, like right. He looks like he's 320, but he looks like he's like two. No, he looks like he's got like eight percent body fat. He looks 320. He's huge. He's a very big man, but he doesn't look like that. Like he looks no. Yeah. No. No. Not at all. And again, it's like if he just plays like Armstead, he'll have Armstead's career. He'll make Armstead's money. He'll it'll be great because Armstead Armstead isn't the most like Buckner was the one who had all the finesse and all the moves and the counters. Like Armstead just forklifts you. He keeps his pads low. He's six seven. He's really powerful. He's super powerful. Right. And what more do you need? Javon Kinlaw has all that power too. But when he stands straight up at, at the uh, on yeah. the snap, you lose it. And that's what D'Amico talked about. Um, so he he's getting it. it. Just takes practice. And it is hard for six foot five, six foot six, six foot seven guys to get underneath the pads a lot of times. That's what makes Armstead good. Armstead good. He can do it. <laughs>